Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girlfriend in Lungu Park with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below, and we'll do it for you. A big shout out to everyone. A big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel and a big shout out to the person that suggested this. I think it has to do with Ramadan. The title is not showing right now, but I'm excited to watch it. I think the title was um, something about Ramadan for non-Muslims. So yeah, I hope I said, I hope it's the right video though. So yeah, without wasting time, let's get into the video. Assalamu alaikum everyone, this is me Ramsha Sultan and today I am going to tell you guys what is Ramzan. If you are a non-Muslim then this video is specially for you, so keep on watching. You might have a rough idea about Ramzan that Muslims fast during this month and there is a mini party every day which is called Iftar and by the end of this month there is a celebration day called as Eid. But I am going to tell you that what Ramzan actually is and what is its significance for the Muslims. The very first thing you need to know is that Ramzan is the month of Quran. We Muslims believe that the Quran was sent down on this earth to Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him, during this month. Quran is the book of Allah and it is the guidance for the whole of humanity. So during this month, we try to read Quran as much as we can and try to understand it and implement its teachings into our day-to-day -day lives. By the way, I am distributing free copies of translated Quran this month. So if you are interested in reading the translated version of Quran in any of your comfortable language, you can simply email me with your address details and I will ship it to you guys. One of the five pillars of Islam is fasting. So Muslims fast during this month. We can eat or drink anything we want a little before sunrise, which is before the Fajr prayer. And this is called Sehri. After this, we cannot eat or drink anything whatsoever all throughout the day. And at the time of sunset, which is at the time of Maghrib prayer, we break our fast and it is called Iftar. Now everyone looks forward to the iftar because they've been hungry all day long. So it is like a mini feast and everyone rejoices having the food after being starving all day long. And this is one of the most beautiful moments of the whole day. Since we remain hungry and thirsty all day long, we understand what pain might hungry and poor people go through. So we can empathize with those people. So in this month, Muslims give a lot of voluntary charity, which is called Sadqa and obligatory charity, which is called Zakat. So we give a lot of money as well as food to the poor and needy people. The focus is to eliminate hunger and poverty from this world. Also, there are spiritual rewards of giving charity in this month. So Muslims try to give food and money and whatever they can as much as they can in this month. Another reason why this month is very important is because the shaitan or the devil and his team is chained and locked during this month. Therefore, he cannot have any bad influence over us and he cannot convince us to do anything bad or evil. And hence, it becomes very easy for us to do good deeds and become more close towards our Creator. We Muslims believe in life after death and we believe that there would be a day of Qayamat in which every single person will be held accountable for everything they did in this world. If they did good or bad, they would have to bear the result of it. Now it is not as simple as that Oh, this person was good, send him to heaven. Oh, this person was bad, send him to hell. It would be a very complex scrutinization of every single deed that we did in this world. So we ask a lot of forgiveness from our creator 
from the sins that we did intentionally or unintentionally ramzan is also known as the month of forgiveness and we ask forgiveness from our creator as well as from the people whom we harmed so it is a month of purification from our sins in ramzan every single good deed that we do is multiplied several times hence the reward of doing any good thing is much more also the duas are accepted a lot during this month especially at the time of breaking the fast at the time of iftar muslims pray a lot during the nights of ramzan there is a special prayer called tarawih which is held in mosques all over the world during the month of ramzan also the last third of the night is considered very important let me explain it to you guys suppose there is a whole night time now divide this time into three parts the last part that is left which is the last third of the night is considered to be the most important because we believe that allah comes down from the seventh heaven to the first heaven and calls out to anyone if he would like to get any dua accepted allah would accept that dua if anyone is asking for forgiveness allah will forgive that person so this time is considered to be the most important and all muslims try to get up at this time and make dua and ask for forgiveness ramzan teaches us self control just think about it it is very easy to eat or drink anything that we want when nobody is watching and no one will ever know about it but we believe that allah is watching us and hence we don't drink or eat anything we have such a strong faith that allah is watching us all the time even at the time of iftar the table is filled with all the good things and the food items the drinks everything but we don't touch anything before it is the time of iftar and this is what makes us very confident and strong from inside ramzan teaches us to be thankful and grateful for whatever we have we realize the value of food water comfort and wealth and a lot more and in this month we realize that we have been blessed with so many things and we should be grateful about them instead of cribbing about the things that we don't have ramzan also teaches us equality in fact islam teaches us equality because whether you are rich or poor whether you are black or white whether you belong to any caste creed or region every person is equal before allah even at the time of namaz there are people from all over the world they stand in one single line in front of allah and pray to one god and this is the beauty of islam overall ramzan is a month of blessings and guidance in this month we try to introspect within and try to become better human beings and strengthen our relationship with our creator because we believe that ultimately we have to return back to him ramzan is like a detox month for us our souls bodies our personalities get purified in this month and it is like an extensive training month for us so that we can spend all our year being good human beings so this is how important ramzan is for us and lastly comes the day of eid which you all might know about now eid is a celebration of successful ramzan all throughout the month we fast we involve in extensive praying we try to do as much good as we can give a lot of charity so this day is like a celebration that we successfully completed our ramzan and we expect allah to accept everything that we did on this day muslims wear new clothes there is a special eid namaz that is done and muslims meet one another they meet their friends family and there is a lot of good food involved to rejoice at last i would like to request one thing to you guys please don't be brainwashed by what you see in media muslims have been portrayed in a very bad image all throughout the world through media and this is not true 
Islam is a very peaceful and beautiful religion. We have been taught deep things and we are taught only to do good to others irrespective of their religion. If you found this video informative, please share this video with your friends and family and let them know what Ramzan is. And I would request you guys to subscribe to my channel for more such videos and also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. This is me Ramsha Sultan signing off. Very interesting video. My light doesn't want to regret it's off. Otherwise, I really enjoyed this. I think I'm aware of all the reasons she was um, giving. And for someone that didn't know, I guess you have it here with you. All the reasons why people um, do this. I mean, fast. Otherwise, I think I like the meaning behind Ramadan. Because there's so much good being done during this um, period. There is forgiveness, you're praying, you're, um, you're sharing food, you're helping, you're feeding the hungry. There's a lot of things and you're coming together. The food, just looking at the food, I love food, just looking at the food makes me hungry. And then you're coming together with not just family members, but other people as well to have um, this check packed in the iftar. I think that's what it was called. Yeah, the meal that you have after all the fasting you've done during the day. I mean, it's very, very nice. I've actually seen it with my own eyes where um, they've set up tables in a place. And during Ramadan, people come together. I think it's just random people that come together within that area to come um, have that meal that's been prepared after the fasting. And it's just amazing. It was amazing to see and see still remains amazing me otherwise i just love everything ramadan stands for totally love 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 let me know what you guys think you've got con if you've got contributions feel free to say something down in the comment section below if you've got something you want us to react to drop us a link and we'll do it for you make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video